supersonic speeds, navigation and bombing calculations have to be made almost instantaneously and with meticulous accuracy. This is accomplished by the navigation and bombing system Mark I, provided that the air crew and servicing teams work together with the utmost efficiency. This bench layout shows the complex nature of the equipment. NBS will be fitted in the Valiant, Vulcan and Victor. The responsibility for servicing it and maintaining it at peak efficiency falls on the Royal Air Force fitter. He is given a thorough training in all aspects of the installation. This film is to be used as one of the many teaching aids in this training program and deals with the principles of computing in NBS. The calculation of the position of an aircraft at any instant depends on a knowledge of its ground speed and track. These cannot be measured directly, but are found by combining the known values of air speed and compass heading with wind speed and direction. This is one of the basic calculations performed by the NBS. The compass heading, height above sea level, and air speed, together with the radar display, are the only basic pieces of information fed to the computer circuit. Compass heading is relayed from the gyro compass as a shaft rotation by an M motor transmission system. Height is delivered as a voltage from a servo mechanism which monitors the movement of a barometric capsule and which also drives this counter. Air speed is also given as a voltage. The beta head pressure is balanced by a fan in the air mileage unit. The shaft speed of the fan is proportional to true air speed. A switching device operated by the shaft feeds charges to a reservoir condenser at a rate proportional to shaft speed. This device is known as a bucket machine. It is used at other points in the computer where a voltage proportional to shaft speed is required. 